Paul Peralt, and this is my wife Gina Peralt, and uh, we're here uh, to talk a little bit about our cars. We have a 79 Dodge Little Red Express. Gina is the second owner. She waited 38 years for hers. And I have a, a 2021 Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat. And I've been living in Fountain Hills for more than 30 years. Uh, Gina joined me about 10 years ago. And uh, the year that the concourse was getting started, uh, I was president of the Fountain Hills Car Club. And uh, I read about Peter in the local paper uh, trying to get this, this show off the show off the ground. So I offered uh, my knowledge about the town and uh, being the fact that I was a pre the local president of the car club to get a bunch of volunteers to help out. And uh, we've been involved in it for quite some time now. Uh, Peter has, been a, has made a, a huge contribution to the community in making this event occur. I mean, we were only maybe 200 cars the first year or two, and then it's grown to more than 1,000. So uh, it's quite, it's quite a, an eventful day. So yeah, registrations is important that you get early. They give them a better idea of how many people are going to show. I mean, as far as people that actually show up, I mean, it's 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 known all over the state of Arizona. I mean, there are tens of thousands of people that show up for this event. I mean, there are there's a military service vehicles as well as aircraft, um, cars that I have never seen before. Um, any exotic cars from all over the world as well as American muscle cars so and some cars are, are, are more than a hundred years old right. well and also because they use the park it is a limited area so they have to be able to try to figure out where they're going to put everyone that's registered so when we first started we were we were just pretty in a little close, section yeah pretty close to the the water park over here and the next year we moved down a little further and the next year pretty soon we were around the curve so that's how much it's grown and it's amazing not only the vehicles that you see there but the number of people that come to see those vehicles and to just the camaraderie you know they park by uh, we park obviously in the Dodge section because we're Dodge owners. Um, so you can see vehicles by section or you can just walk the whole thing. Uh, bring water, <laughs> definitely. But it's just great. It's a great, um, it's just a great way to get together as car owners but also to support a really great cause. Yeah, that's, that's amazing how much money has been raised. So anyway, over the last last year, there was about four hundred thirty thousand or so that was raised for the Phoenix Children's Hospital. That's just mind-boggling how they raised that much money for a car show. But um, he, he's had some spectacular uh, sponsors. So uh, the first year out, I think we raised about twenty-five thousand dollars, which which I thought was quite quite a large amount for only having maybe a couple hundred cars.